Dreams can be funny, scary, emotional and bizarre. We all dream, but do you know why? Wait a second. How do you talk about dreams without even talking about sleep? Hey Raj, you miss me wearing your pajama. Uh, sleep. Sleep makes us physically and mentally strong. Brian Gardner in the US has made the record for the, of the longest awake time. That is 11 days. Those who tried to break the record died half the way through. It is said that even Ryan Gardner later suffered from mental illness. Sleep is that important for our lives. Sleep cleans the brain. It also helps in forgetting unnecessary things. This process happens when we are in deep sleep. Brain cells development, building immunization, blood cells repair, these all happen when we are in deep sleep. So a good sleep is vital for us. There are two main parts of sleep. REM, rapid eye movement, and NREM, non-rapid eye movement. First we encounter NREM, then REM. There are three stages in NREM. The first one is, we close our eyes but still not sleeping. We can easily wake up. In the second stage, we little, little by little, our body is getting ready to sleep. Our heartbeat goes slower and our body temperature goes down. In third stage is a deep sleep. If someone wakes us up, we may not be able to keep our body balanced. Our body cells get repaired at this stage. In REM sleep, our eyes move faster. Our body shuts down, but our brain is active. This happens about 90 minutes after we sleep. Then the cycle starts from NREM and continues till we wake up. Dreams. Dreams can happen at any time in sleep. But most of our vivid dreams happen in the REM. It is when our brain is mostly active. Some people say that we dream at least 5 times a night. The dreams that we see are fascinating. We don't know much about dreams, but we will tell you what we have read about dreams. It is said that when there are black and white TVs, 12% of the people saw their dreams in black and white. People who cannot talk express their dreams by hand. Blind people see dreams. So do the animals. Most of the time, we see dreams related to our normal lives, but it's not always the case. It is said dreams are a window into our subconscious and they tell a person's unconscious desires, thoughts and motivations. At sleep, our subconscious brain analyzes the things we do throughout the day. If you do a crazy thing while sleeping, our brain shows you a dream about what kind of consequence you may face the following day. Then you may recall the dream and think it is a coincidence. No, it is because your subconscious is so powerful that it can predict the future. Dreams can motivate us to act certain way, which changes our future. Some people come up with their best ideas while dreaming. There are mysterious things related to dreams. Sleepwalking, sleep paralysis, lucid dreams, falling from a cliff, nightmares, dreams inside a dream, repeating the same dream. Sleepwalking. Sleepwalking can be caused by mental sicknesses like parasmania. It is reported that some people even take criminal activities during sleep. It is said that when sleepwalkers touch a wet carpet, they wake up. But I have also heard about a story that one man used to swim in a pool while he's asleep. Once his friend woke him up and he was about to drown. This proves that he could only swim in his dream but not in real life. Sleep paralysis You suddenly wake up but can't move your hand, not even your fingers. Can't even scream. Have you ever experienced that? It feels like your soul temporarily gets out of your body. 
When we sleep, our body is temporarily paralyzed to make our body rest and save us from accidents. Rarely, this function doesn't work properly. Our brain is awake, but our body is still paralyzed. Some say it is related to astral body, but others say it is just a normal body dysfunction. However, if it is regular happening, better to visit a doctor. Lucid dreams. Lucid dreams are so realistic that we cannot tell if we are in a dream or not. Let's imagine you are in a particular place. You have to analyze how you came there. If you do not remember, then you are in a dream. Research shows that lucid dreams boost your brain activity. Lucid dreams can happen between your REM and waking up. Some lucid dreamers can influence their dreams, but some say it's better to let your dreams flow naturally. Falling from a cliff You must have dreams about you falling from a cliff or a tree and suddenly wake up. Or you must have felt that someone is pulling you to the ground. Or someone lifted you up and slammed you to the ground. And when you wake up, there's no one. Don't worry, there's nothing mysterious in it. We dream in REM sleep. When our body goes to that REM sleep, our body temperature goes down. Our brain can't tell if our body is dead or sleeping. So our body, our brain sends a false message to check our body. That message wakes us up. See, there's nothing mysterious in it. Nightmares. Nightmares are scary and bad dreams. It is common in all humans. Nightmares are caused by fear, stress, emotional problems, drugs, medications, or illness. If you have a nightmare over and over again, your brain might be telling you something. Even though nightmares are scary, they are not real. Dream inside a dream. In a dream, you sleep and have another dream. You have to wake up twice to completely wake up. This is very rare and nobody found out the reason why this happens. Repeating the same dream. You mostly repeat the same dream because you have missed something very important. It's better to follow up what you have missed and complete it. It'll help you to get rid of the same dream. Why can't we recall dreams? Some researchers say we are made to forget our dreams. Because if we remember all of them, we may not be able to distinguish dreams from real life memories. Some say during REM sleep, our body may shut down systems in our brain that create memories. That may be the reason we, we, don't, we can't remember the dreams. But we still can remember the dreams that happen just before we wake up. Some say dreams may be stored in a special part of our memory, but we still don't know how to access them. This may explain why we suddenly recall dreams later. Tips to recall dreams If you are a sound sleeper and don't wake up until the morning, you are less likely to remember your dreams compared with the people who wake up at several times in the night. These are some tips that may help you to recall your dreams. Wake up without an alarm. When you wake up without an alarm, you are most likely to remember your dreams. When the alarm rings, your brain focuses on turning off the unnecessary sound and not the dream. Remind yourself to remember. If you make a choice to re remember your dream, then most likely you will remember your dream. And just after you wake up, if you think about your dream, your dream may play back. Mm-hmm.